Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with pulled pork using SFQ, the original San Francisco style barbecue sauce. We're going to take a three and a half pound pork shoulder, usually has the shoulder blade in there called a blade roast. Just make sure you're getting pork shoulder, also known as pork butt. You're going to take your SFQ dry rub or whatever dry rub you have and sprinkle it generously on all sides. How many sides? I didn't count but make sure you get them all. Then you're gonna pop it in a Dutch oven, something that has a tight fitting lid. Then because I don't have a smoker on hand, I'm gonna do this little trick that I like. I'm gonna take two ramekins, put a quarter teaspoon of liquid smoke and a half a cup of water in each. And then I'm simply gonna place those on either side of the pork shoulder in my Dutch oven. And then we're gonna roast that so slowly. And that little bit of smoke is going to kind of permeate and the water is going to keep a nice, moist, very humid cooking environment. It really goes a long way to making a super delectable, succulent, juicy pork shoulder. All right, it's going to go in the oven at 210 degrees. I know it's not much. 210 degrees, very slow for 12 hours. So make sure you time this right. You don't want to be waking up at, you know, 3 in the morning to take this out. So 12 hours later, we took it out. And look how unbelievably tender that shoulder blade bone just comes right out. You really just barely have to touch it. It just collapses. See that? You notice I'm wearing sanitized gloves, so I don't have to wash my hands. All right, you're not going to see much fat, which is good because most of it just melted out. But any pieces, you know, if you get a clump there, see that? You could take that out. Or you could just chop it all together. Up to you. All right, once we have our pork collapsed, you're going to take a cleaver or a knife and give it a rough chop. Now, this is personal preference. Some people like their pulled pork chunky in large pieces. I understand. Other people chop this until it's almost like a puree. That's just going too far. All right, I kind of like it somewhere in the middle. Once you chop it, you will garnish with some warmed SFQ barbecue sauce or the barbecue sauce of your choice. Something of lesser quality is fine. Now what you want to do here is you want to taste and season because the inside of the meat was not brined or injected with a marinade. You want to taste for salt and pepper. I gave mine just a little pinch of salt, a little pinch of pepper, and then we're ready to serve it up on traditional white buns. Now please, do your patriotic American duty and do not use nutritious, fiber-rich whole wheat buns. This should go on the cheapest, lightest, airiest white bread bun you can find, okay? So if you have to wear a disguise to the grocery store, do it. We're going to add a little sauce to moisten the bun. Pile up your succulent, moist, juicy pork. A little more sauce. Unbelievable. Look at that beauty. I want to eat that. In fact, I did eat it. And in the background, there it is. Your SFQ as I play with the focus on my new high-def camera. See how the back is in focus and the front's not? And the front was in focus and the back wasn't? And with that, I apologize to all real photographers out there that just, you know, rolled their eyes. And if you received your SFQ barbecue sauce as your holiday donation thank you gift, that's just one idea you can do with it. Anyway, I hope you give that a try. Check out the site for more details and the ingredients, although there's not really ingredients. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.